Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today we're talking Louis Vuitton, we're talking activism, we're talking pendulous breasts in Australia. What is, what, what, how's that all connected? <laughs> Subscribe to my channel here at the Tubes, push the join button next to the subscription button, become a member today, gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Jacob, all spelled together. Uh, over there also for extra perks. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. Welcome everybody. You're all joined. Uh, welcome to join me for the live chats every Saturday. Tickle, tickle, tickle to everybody. So you guys, this is really confusing in a way because it's like Louis Vuitton, Australia, pendulous breasts. What does it all mean? Well, um, um, apparently a famous activist i i did not know this lady's name until now well she has reached the fashion bunker tash peterson a vegan activist bears chest after guilty verdict over louis vuitton protest as reported by perth now dot uh, com dot au so um this lady okay goes to louis vuitton store Allegedly, everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only. It's only to share my own opinions. Allegedly, 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 everything, yada, yada. She goes to the Louis Vuitton store, allegedly. And what whilst she's in the store, she uh, apparently, and um, maybe her friends as well, actually only her, takes off her clothes and is splattered with blood all over herself, her body. And she's like, stop killing the animals. Um... Louis Vuitton is killing animals. Stop it. You know, basically she's raising awareness against, you know, using leathers, exotics, furs, and all that stuff that Louis Vuitton also uses. So she gets kicked out of the store rather naked than wear someone else's skin. I guess that's what the paper says. And she's escorted out of the store. So apparently her boyfriend was filming this and there was another friend as well with her. So the blood that she has on her uh, people thought, oh my God, is this animal blood, this or that? But then later on, she went to court as she was prosecuted. And in court, her lawyer claimed uh, that um, she was not disrupting the public. Like, you know, they wanted uh, the, the they wanted to kind of judge her for, well, you know, you're naked in public and doing this and that. You're disturbing public peace. But the lawyer said, no, this is a political protest. And as a political protest, she is allowed to do it. So the judge kind of let that pass. But the judge did not let it pass fully in terms of disrupting the public because she chose an hour to be there where, for example, also children could have been in the store. Um, like it was like a family hour. So kind of the judge didn't let it fully pass. But then I'm thinking to myself, well, kids are awake until stores close. It's not like she could go to the store when children are asleep. The store is closed at midnight. How could she go to protest in the store when kids are asleep. So it's a little bit sketchy, all of this, but then again, it's just a news article. So I don't know all the details of the actual trial, but kind of, this is what they're saying in this article that she got away with part of the accusations, but not fully. So the, so also what her lawyer allegedly stated in this trial is that her blood was not of animals or anything else like that. It was her menst menstrual blood. So she claimed that it was her own menstruation that she covered herself with. Yeah, guys, don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Now, then she goes to court. This this is, I, I think, the guy behind her is her boyfriend who also filmed her at Louis. In court, uh, she was dressed like this. So after the ruling, and there's going to be another trial date, especially because when she went to court... I guess she expected there was going to be some sort of media gathering outside of the court. When she left the court dressed like this, immediately after exiting the court, she took her clothes off again. And there you go. There you go. She covered she covered the nipple. So hashtag free the nipple. Wear your own skin. And then she has her friend behind her with the red version. Um, and then they have those Louis Vuitton bags. I guess they're fakes. I don't know but covered with like blood, like it looks like they're covered with blood. Now, obviously, I don't know if these chicks know, but this is canvas. This is not leather. So those bags that they're holding, if they're authentic or not, I don't think they are. But anyway, to each their own. Um, sure, this is canvas. So no animal was killed for that. However, 
the vaqueta leather handles are leather. A lot of the trimming is leather. This is leather as well. So you could say, well, obviously this piece then also should be protested because it does have leather on it, even though this is not leather, this is canvas. But anyway, we know that Louis Vuitton makes uh, products out of exotics, fur, uh, you know, the regular leather of animals that we also eat, like, you know, cows, <laughs> lambs, sheep, stuff like that. So obviously Louis Vuitton is one of those luxury houses that did not, unlike Chanel, that said, you know, Chanel said, we're going to stop doing exotics. It's, it's a step towards the right direction. They stopped doing real fur. Did they, though? Because, eh. But they stopped doing exotics, at least. But Louis still does exotics, still does fur. You know, Louis does everything. So she's protesting, and she did this. Uh, what was the comment I was supposed to read? Uh, canvas? Jackie, yes. Yeah, the bags are canvas. The handles are leather, though. So anyway, but they're full of logos. So she's protesting against Louis Vuitton in particular. And um, so her name is Tash Peterson, uh, claimed to be a notorious vegan activist. Okay. So now my question is, if we go back to the prior picture, though, just to be very clear, if she's such a famous activist, vegan activist, okay, and if that's her boyfriend behind her, um, <sighs> I, I really want to know. I really want to know. Was she really that careful in selecting her sneakers? Because usually sneakers, like, I don't know which brand she has on. Maybe somebody in the chat knows. But usually sneakers like that, if they're from cheaper brands, they use glues. It, it's a canvas sneaker with rubber or caoutchouc. Yeah, I get it. But most of the glues used... Oh, Jack Dean says, hold on, she's wearing Converse. Do they not use glues with animal comp components? That's exactly what I was about to say now. Um, a lot of these cheap... I don't know if she's wearing Converse, though, but she could be wearing some imitation of Converse. Anyway, if she is wearing particular type of sneakers, they are glued together with animal components used to create the glue. Her bag, it could be a pleather. It could be a vegan leather. But again, is it, though? If she's that caring for it, it probably is. Her makeup... Is it vegan makeup? Her boyfriend's camera. You know those GoPro cameras or those cameras also? How far are animal testings and experiments used? How damaging is the has the environment been damaged to actually manufacture these cameras? Like there's a lot of like... His sneakers also are glued together. Oh, and, and Jack says, and how, hold on now. What about her hair bleach? That hor That's horrible for the environment. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, how far can we push this? Like, and here, this is a very interesting conversation. Now, she's going to have to go to trial again. Okay, because the police gathered in front of the court uh, building after she was, you know, um, chest out with the pro protest. And then they kind of got her again. And I guess she got a sighting again for disrupting public um, peace or whatever. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. So uh, we do not know how far is she pushing this out of the love of, of for animals and how much is the ego also involved in terms of wanting to be in the spotlight. Now, you got to raise awareness about these topics somehow, whether it be because you're cuckoo and you want to go cuckoo and then the media reports about you being cuckoo and that your cuckoo-ness raises awareness. Or you want to raise awareness about yourself. It's kind of like the line becomes very... Th but then also, you know, there's this other concept of like, well, usually because it's a woman and she looks pretty and she's in shape and she obviously takes care of herself, like you don't take her seriously. You know what I mean? Like people think, well, if you want to be an activist... You're going to let your hairs grow on your legs. You're going to let your mustache grow if you have one. As a, Some chicks have a mustache too, you know. And you're not going to bleach your hair. You're not going to do makeup on your eyes. Like you're going to you're gonna live that natural life, right? If you're like completely like an activist. Like people expect you to look like you let yourself go a little. But it's a political statement as well. But she doesn't look that way. She looks like she's very, very taken care of, like put very well put together. It looks like she invests time in putting herself together. So automatically our minds go into that direction thinking, uh-huh, mm, is she trustworthy? Because she's too pretty. She got the makeup going. She got the looks, like, you know what I mean? Her boyfriend, also cute, if that's him, you know, 
they're like hipster typo gen z whatever letter of the alphabet you want to add i'm not even into, i don't even know who's gen what but you know she seems like modern you know very like in the now in the moment she is the it you know and so that all kind of delegitimizes automatically i know it's a very superficial judgment i'm just analyzing here i'm not judging her just to be very clear but I I, sh I I believe that a lot of people probably are going to judge her for the way she looks. Because she looks too selfie ready. You know what I mean? To, to really believe in what she's doing. And I know this is a harsh judgment from people. But that's, that's how people are, you guys. People judge you for whatever they want. Um, so she's also known as the vegan booty in Australia. Why? We don't know. But we can imagine. So... Her nickname is the Vegan Booty, allegedly. Um, why? Anyway, so like she, you know, she's like, she looks like an influencer. Sorry, um, Tash. But, and the fact that you look like an influencer and probably a really popular one, and your boyfriend looks like super hip as well, it automatically is detrimental to... Um, your believability as an activist and i know this sounds lame and why should an activist look like you know they they never wash and they never change clothes like why why do we have to associate an activist in that um regard as somebody who never takes care of themselves an activist can take care of themselves as well but obviously we have a harsher eye projected towards a situation like this because we think well you know, ah, where's your bag from? Where's your shoes from? Where's the bleach coming from? Is the makeup vegan? You know, da, 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 and you start judging. And so I'm sure she doesn't have it easy, but but you, an ego needs to be involved if you keep pushing and pushing and pushing, you know, and you keep feeding into that machine. And I'm sure she gets a, a ton of backlash as well. But, you know, she's a diva. To me, just the way she carries herself, the, the body language, the... She, She's in the moment. She owns the moment. To me, that, that smells of ego. Am I wrong? I could be completely wrong. I'm just analyzing. This is just a flow of my mind as we go along. Um, what do you guys think? You know, um, it, it is hard being a vegan, says Julia. But there are so many options today. I am a vegan fashion designer and have never used any animal products in my designs or even in what I wear and eat. Oh, of course it's possible, Julia. I'm not. I'm absolutely not saying it's not possible. Jesus says she's an Instagram activist. Anything for clout. I'm just reading the comments. Tina says I'm suspicious of this story. Um, yeah. Julie says, letting hairs grow on your legs and underarms is not the sign of being passionate about a cause. That's a stereotype that only ugly people do things like that. Exactly. And I'm raising awareness about that because I'm also analyzing all the sides to this. There's going to be people out there who are going to definitely point their fingers at her and be like, ah, you look too pretty to actually be an activist. And this is a cliche. It's a total cliche, but there are going to be people out there saying that. And I'm saying, you don't need to be hair growing off your legs and under your armpits braided you know ar braided armpits you don't need to have rapunzel growing out of your two arm like your two twin sister rapunzels growing out of your armpit you don't need to do that to be an activist i get it i respect it i'm just saying you gotta have every point so freaking cleared up because people are gonna come for you and especially if you're a woman more so than if you're a man unfortunately unfortunately and unjustly so Penelope says I don't get why people are making fun of her honestly especially for Gen Z the panic and despair of climate change and habitat loss is so anxiety inducing really good point and very legitimate point Julia says it is hard being a vegan oh sorry I already read that one um Elias says, I think you are completely right. Nothing about this seems sincere. I, I'm not saying it doesn't seem sincere to me. I'm saying potentially some people might see it that way. I'm not saying I'm seeing it that way. Whenever there's a topic like this, you guys, what I do is I try to put myself in the shoes of all possible variations out there. The good, the bad, and the ugly the pros and the cons and i'm just analyzing extreme situations so i'm trying to think 
if a person would be against her, what would they use against her? If a person would be for her, what would they use in her defense? I'm trying to really weigh out the pros and the cons, like I always do. But it's just obviously, you know, when I post these videos, people want to hear what they want to hear. They're, they're, you know, no matter how, I just try to, as objectively as possible, analyze all the facets of the story. People usually tend to cling to one thing I say and they're like, snap and like judge you for it. And I'm like, well, hold on. Don't shoot the messenger. I ain't saying this is right or wrong. I'm just saying some people might see it that way. Some people might see it this way. I'm starting a conversation. That's all I'm doing. Huh? Trying to be Switzerland here as much as possible. <laughs> you can't even say trying to be Switzerland anymore because even that's politically not acceptable. Like nothing is politically correct anymore, you guys. Like nothing. It's a classic maiden type of shoe, says Jesus. Converse are always in style. Tina says it's newsworthy either way. CF says, I would say avoid white palazzo pants with the menstruation storyline. <laughs> Two different scenarios, but yes, I agree with you. <laughs> T-Pal says, her efforts would be better served helping sea life in her country. Who says she doesn't? Maybe she helps sea life. I don't know. I just know this story because we talk about fashion on my channel and obviously because she protested in a Louis Vuitton boutique. That's how it connects to my channel as well. Um... And I was also interested to know, I would be interested to know if Louis Vuitton is going to press charges because I think this was the city that pressed charge, like the, the state that pressed charges. Um, I'm not so sure if Louis Vuitton pressed charges as well. And if they didn't, I would be interested to know if Louis Vuitton is going to kind of try to prosecute her somehow. London Chatty says, smacks of Greta uh, Thunberg, self-entitled, white privileged, from a comfortable background. Oh, blonde and chatty. Those are some fighting words. <laughs> those are some fighting words. <laughs> I mean, um, Jack says, but really, who is going to make life changes from her protest? Was it emotionally moving? I think it was emotionally moving for her. I mean, it definitely meant something to her. Is it going to change the way I see consumer, consumerism of leather? No. I try to be a moderate in these situations. Like, I, I, I veer away from exotics. Last exotic piece I bought, oh my gosh, like 20 years ago. And then I stopped. And since then, that's it for me. No more exotics, but I still do leather. Um, I still eat meat. Although, and again, here, moderate, you see, I stopped with all the exotics. Now with the meat, I'm eating way less than I used to, way more consciously. Um, I'm eating more vegetables than meat. I'm, you know, with the leathers... I have, a, I have a few vegan bags. I have a few leather bags. I have a few mixed bags, like stuff like this, which is for the most part canvas. There's still leather on it though. So shoes lately, I've been buying leather free shoes. However, like we were talking before, not sure that all of them have glues that are animal free. Um, but little steps at a time. There's an evolution happening. It takes time. I'm just saying, I'm not extremist. I'm not all that or all that. I'm kind of in that mid zone, mid area. There's a lot of room for improvement. There's a lot of room to make things better for me to behave better for sure, for sure. But I'm not going to stand here trying to tell you, oh, you guys, I'm like holier than thou because girl, ain't nobody holy. Okay. There's the Lord Almighty upstairs or wherever it is holy. All of us, we're just mortals. We make mistakes. We're, we're humans. We we do what we do. But we grow. We evolve. We change. We learn. And so if you are ready to learn, then you are ready to evolve. And if you're ready to evolve, you can change. You really can change. But you got to want to do it. So that's what I'm saying. Who knows where she's at and what she's at right now? Food for thought. Food for thought. Subscribe. <laughs>